Hey everyone, it's Terry Cutler. I like to answer a question I get asked multiple times a week, which is, how do I know my PC's been hacked? Or how do I know that people are spying on me through my webcam? So I'd like to get that answered for you right now. So welcome to the Ask Terry Cutler Show. Hey, it's Terry Cutler, and I'd like to show you how a simple command line tool can provide you such invaluable information on whether or not your system has been compromised by a hacker or malware. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is close as many programs as you can, such as Microsoft Outlook, Skype, etc. This will allow us to try and find unwanted communication from applications that we don't know about. In my case, I'll leave all my apps open so you can see some activity. Now once you've done that, let's press the start button and type in CMD, which is short for command prompt, and press enter. Once the command prompt has been opened, you're going to want to type in netstat space minus ANO. So essentially what we're doing here is asking Windows to list all the listening and open ports that this system is talking to, and press enter. Now as you can see, a ton of stuff just scrolled off the screen. So let's have a closer look. Let me adjust the size here and scroll up, okay. So what we're looking for is any established communication. So established communication means your computer is talking to another device on your network or somewhere on the internet at this moment. So as you can see, here we have our local address which represents your computer IP. Now everyone's will be different, so don't worry about this. But as you can see, my PC also has 127 addresses. Also don't worry about this either because my computer is running special software called VMware, which most of you don't have. Now, as we go to the right, we have foreign addresses, which are other devices your computer is talking to, the current state of the connection, and finally we have the PID, which is the process identifier. Now, a PID is like the name of the software that's talking on this connection, which we'll use to investigate. Now, you'll want to open the Windows Task Manager by right-clicking on the taskbar and select Start Task Manager. You can also get there by pressing Control Delete and choosing Start Task Manager. Once it's open, click on the Processes tab, now select view at the top and choose select columns. You'll notice that the PID is unchecked. So go ahead and check that box. Oh, and by the way, all versions of Windows can do this, not just Windows 7. Now, you'll notice some numbers that showed up beside the names of the processes. For simplicity reasons, you'll need to click to sort the process IDs from smallest to largest so we can find stuff quickly. You'll also notice a button called show processes from all users. Let's make sure we press that as well so we can see everything this PC is talking to. Now, what you want to do is match up the process numbers with the names of the applications that are running on it. So for example, if we have process ID 4668, which is running a couple of times here, let's, well, you know, what could this be? Well, once we get the 4668, we can actually see that Skype is using this ID, which is most likely safe. So if we keep going through this list and there's something you're not sure about, well, Google's going to be our best friend here at this point. So you can also right click and select properties and maybe this will give us a bit more insight into what program this is and where these files are located. If you're still running into trouble though, you'll need to contact your family IT guy or bring it into Best Buy to get it serviced. Or for a fee, my team or I can also help you out. I really hope this video was enough to get you started. So if you have any questions you'd like answers to, hit me up on Twitter using the hashtag AskTerryCutler or by email at ask at terrycutler.com. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to InternetSafetyUniversity.com. You never know if your question will be featured in an upcoming video. If you can share this video with your friends, I'd really appreciate it. There's so many people out there that have been infected that they don't even realize it. So if you've been a victim yourself though, I'd like to hear if this tip helped you or what you found on your computer. So stay safe my friends and I'll see you in the next video.